what is good we are back with another video of the trading den today's module we will be going over these standard deviations now standard deviations are used for price targets you can take partials or your full position off at these standard deviations and they are used to frame retracements or reversals off of them now if we accumulate at one of these standard deviations we can expect an accumulation phase to then go into an expansions so so this right here is what these standard deviations look like i will give you my settings right now these are the settings doesn't matter where the numbers are just frame it just like this you can change it to whatever color you would like but these checks and these numbers need to be on there go ahead and screenshot this whatever you want here they are let's get into what it should look like so here we have a depiction of what a chart could look like so right here we can see we have an accumulation phase right here every move starts with the turtle soup so right here we have a low taken now what you want to be looking for is the manipulation leg so we have a high here into a new low so this leg right here would be your manipulation now we take that uh, standard deviation fib tool and measure the manipulation right here is your manipulation phase you measure from the high to the low and then the standard deviations will project out now let me line this up there so negative two two and a half the red area we will go into that in a minute now negative 0 0.05 or sorry negative 0 0.5 to negative one is where you can frame an accumulation phase from so as you see right here whenever we get there we have a run on stops and then a continuation to negative two negative two and a half so this right here can be used to identify accumulation phases on intraday charts so moving on to negative 2 negative 2.5 this is where you can frame a reversal or retracement from this is where price likes to reverse and retrace off of because usually it aligns with sell side or buy side liquidity so right here you see that we run buy stops and then expand lower now if it is an expansion lower and it is a revert or a retracement sorry into a higher time frame pd array if we respect negative 2 negative 2.5 the easiest draw is measure the entire range from that low that we measured the standard deviation from to the high that this low made and then we measure out equilibrium of the range this is your target if you want to take shorts up here and then you target this 0.5 because we do not have to reverse the entire move this can be a retracement into a continuation expansion so you target the 0.5 and this is where you can frame longs off of so whenever we get back down here this can now be a new manipulation leg if it had a run on stops as you see here we have a run on stops this can now be measured as well but 0.5 if we respect negative 2.5 and negative 2 the equilibrium is your price target and a place to frame a long for a continuation off of now moving up negative 4 is where price likes to stop at and either accumulate or have a full-on reversal negative 4 a turtle soup will usually occur if we are going to have a reversal so this is where you do you do not want to be trying to frame a continuation continuation sorry a continuation trade off of negative four this is where reversals are most likely to happen so let's hop into the charts and give some examples so right here we are on the nasdaq hourly chart and as you see right here we have an accumulation phase and right here we have that run on stops and then we have this expansion higher now whenever it expands higher we can now frame this as our manipulation so what do we do draw out the fib tool take it from the low to the high click on standard deviations now what did i say here this negative one to negative 0.5 can be an accumulation phase as you see right here we have a little accumulation a little more accumulation and then an expansion to negative 2 negative 2.5 
And as you see, we continue to respect it, expansion lower. So now what do we measure out? We measure out equilibrium of this entire range. So right here, as you see, we continue. Check out the bodies. I didn't even realize that. Check out the bodies. All bodies respect that. So then we continue up. Do not run these highs and expand lower. This is where you could kind of expect to see this low. But as you see, we do not deliver that low. Like I said before, we do not have to deliver that low. Equilibrium is your price target and a way to frame longs off of. So let's hop into another example. So here we are on the NASDAQ daily chart, right? Price is fractal. It works on all time frames. But right here, you see we have a high. We have a run on all of these equal lows throughout here. And then we have an expansion higher. Measure from the low to the high, negative 0.5 to negative 1. We have a little accumulation here, right? We have this down candle. We have this small candle. Expansion up. What can we expect? Negative 2 to negative 2.5. We come here. We accumulate. Looks like we're expanding lower, could see equilibrium, but we have a new low. So this can be the equilibrium that we measure out. We do not have to come the entire way to this low, to this high, just because we already have a new prominent low. So this would be the equilibrium that we would be looking for. Expansion higher. What can we see now? We could come the entire way, that, right? This is real time. We could come the entire way up to negative four now. So 18,385 could be the target for this daily expansion because we have now closed above this range right here after getting this retracement from negative two to negative 2.5 and then expansion higher. So we can expect to see negative four. Now you are watching this course before this could even happen. So we are on the daily chart. It's gonna take a while to happen, come back, see if it actually happens let's move on to another one so here we are on the four hour nasdaq chart what do you see throughout this price action right we have manipulation we have a run on stops expansion higher we have a high we have a low so we measure from this low to this high what do you see we disrespect negative two to negative 2.5 we have an accumulation here. We can expect to see negative four now since we disrespected and closed above these two areas. So here's negative four. Let me line that up. Where do we stop? Right there. And right now we are accumulating to maybe get in another expansion, but you do not want to be trying to take a swing position, right? Because this is the four hour. You're not taking intraday trades off the four hour. You don't want to be taking a swing trade to have continuation yet until we show that we want to expand. So we hit that negative four. Now we're starting to accumulate once again. So here we are on the NASDAQ 15 minute right here in this piece of price action. You can see we have a run on buy stops and then an expansion lower. So we have a run on buy stops expansion lower. Let's move this over. We measure from the high to the low. Negative one, negative 0 0.5, accumulation phase, or distribution, because we are in a market maker sell model, distribution, then we go straight to negative two. And remember, I said, this is why it's easier on the intraday charts to measure out these standard deviations, because intraday, when you're framing a trade, it usually will line up with liquidity. As you see, respect negative two, negative 2.5, and then we have a full on reversal from there. So here we are on the NASDAQ 15 minute. Once again, I'm gonna show you some more examples on the intraday charts, just because day traders, we like to catch the daily move. So right here, you can see we have a run on these buy stops right here inside of a higher time frame PD array. You can tell because this is just this placement lower. So this is probably an hourly imbalance. And right here we have a high, we have a low, so we measure from the high to the low, 0.5, negative 0.5 and negative one, distribution phase, expansion down to negative two, negative 2.5, and then a full on reversal. So let's go into another example. So here we are on the NASDAQ five minute chart. You can see this piece of price action sweeps all of these equal lows. So we measure out uh, from here to here. Where do we go? Negative 0.5. Uh, we come into negative one and negative 0.5 accumulate 
go up, expand to here, then we come the whole way back down, run these stops, and now we have a high, right? This is a swing high right here. You can tell it comes into this fair value gap above this high, lower high, lower high, swing high, measure from this low to this high, sorry. Expand, as you see, we come straight through negative one and negative 0.5, expansion to negative two, negative two and a half, we accumulate expansion higher and then we hit that negative four the entire way over here. We do not quite get there yet until over there. So for the last example, we're on the one minute chart. This is actually at 350 in the morning, but it works any time of the day because price is fractal, time is fractal. We come in, we sweep by stops. So now we have a manipulation leg measure from high to the recent low come into negative two, negative two and a half, notice negative 0.5, negative one distribution. We have an accumulation phase here. Expansion, come down, we distribute some more. Where do we expand to? Negative four. Reversals like to happen here. We come up, we reach equilibrium, accumulate above equilibrium, then we expand back lower. And we actually have a run on stops right here. Didn't see this example, so let's measure from here to here. Where do we go? Negative two, negative two and a half, accumulate, and then we expand even lower. And you can, ju you can literally just keep doing this on any manipulation, right? Distribution, here's another entry for negative four, uh, right here, manipulation here. We don't get, we never get our position stopped out above this high though, then we get to that negative two area, and then this is intraday price action. So. That is how standard deviations work. Any manipulation leg you see in the markets, you measure from the high to the low if it is bearish or from the low to the high if it is bullish. So let's move on to the next module.